Welcome to Adora Live, Unlaced, with Anne-Marie Rada. This sexy and smooth adults-only show explores the latest trends with exclusive interviews from deep within the erotic industry. So mix up a martini and relax with Adora Live, Unlaced. Vendra Severin, um, who is one of my close friends actually, which has been really cool through Adora Live. Um, now, I'd like to call you Vinny if that's alright. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, welcome to the show. We're so excited to have you. Well, I'm so pleased to be invited, so thank you. Brilliant. No worries at all. Now, just um, a bit of a hot tip there, everyone. Uh, Vendra, Vinny is currently showing at Adora Live um, inside the store at the moment, and then she's going to be having the joint art show with. Um, Stuart Crosser. All right, so let us know, Vinny, what do you do? Okay, so um, I'm a creative person. I've mm -hmm. always been that way, yep. um, but I've actually started to explore photography. Okay. Um, and for me, that's taken me on a massive journey, basically, of reinventing my life. Wow. Tell us a bit more about it. Like, when did you start doing the photography side of things? So I guess um, I've always had a conventional type of career, job, okay. but I've always had a yearning to be more creative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess I've been constrained in lots of ways, okay. as we sometimes forget. Yes. Um, and so um, it's only been in the last couple of years that I've just taken the time and, and leaped off the edge, basically, and said, well, oh, this is what I want to do. Wow. And having known Vinny for like about a year now, mm -hmm and having grown into like a really cool friendship. Um, I've seen her come along in leaps and bounds both personally and professionally and leave a whole nother person behind and really grow and develop into a really wonderful um, person. Like, like her name suggests, Red Lotus Gallery, she has been growing into that beautiful lotus flower. So she's been really like coming into full bloom now. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now tell us about your works. Um, so primarily it's um, divided between two things. One is the reality side of things. Okay. So something that I'm driving past or I walk mm -hmm. past, it captures my attention. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it might be a little bit different and sometimes it might just be something quite simple. Okay. Um, and then the next part of it is the fantasy work. So yeah. really that's lots of fun because there, there are so many things <laughs> that you think about, that everybody thinks about. Yes. Just pops into your head for a second, yeah. but you don't explore it. Okay, now what are we talking? Can you give us some examples? Okay, so my, my um, recent work is quite yeah. funny because I went to Salvation Army store and I bought a bag of yeah. misplaced Mattel dollies. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Unloved and naked. So we're thinking they're along the lines, if you need a description, sort of Barbie dolls, similar to? Similar to, yeah. and, and, and you know, the brunette rejects that okay. never kind of took <laughs> off as well. I so. had one of those in my birthday cake one time. I made a you know, birthday cake, like, it was brilliant. It, she wasn't a Barbie though, she was like a $2 the, reject. The reject yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the toilet dollies. Oh, Do you yes. remember yeah. those as yeah, well? Yeah, beautiful. So a bag of them, it was about $24, and there was about 20 of them. Okay. <laughs> and so now we've been posing them, and yeah. When I say we, you know, I've had um, my son okay. and, you yes. know, he saw me playing with them by the front door in the sunlight and he wanted to have a go too. <laughs> so we have taken a couple of uh, photographs by Vinny posed yes. by uh, my son, so <laughs> it's been Brilliant. quite fun. She did actually um, email me a couple of little tester photos the other day and it was hilarious and very sexually suggestive, might I add. Two Barbies together, it was a good pose. <laughs> what was really nice about that picture was the brunette, she, she had this beautiful beautiful little um, choker and just some French knickers on, so that cute. was quite a cute. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually seen like dolls like that posed with the colouring. I'll have to add it in the show notes below um, so you guys can have a little look because it was brilliant. Well we think about these things yeah. but like I said lots of us we're just kind of caught up in everyday life yeah. so being able to kind of I don't know set a scene or a fantasy or or be something different yeah it's worth exploring very much so <laughs> good on you so now can you tell us about um, your works like your joint exhibition coming up with Stuart what are you sort of putting together what are you going to be exploring for this exhibition so this exhibition for me is uh, more of a um, exploration of my physical self I okay. guess you know I've come um, a long way as mm -hmm. we've already suggested um, previously not been happy with my body okay. there's lots of body image issues and mm. now they're you know resolving as time goes by wow. so for me to explore who I am physically and look at myself in the mirror yeah. and like who I am mm. that's what this exhibition will be about 
but also it's about imagination. So okay. enabling someone else to look at that image and think, wow, that's, you know, what's in my head? How do I feel about that? Right. When they look in the mirror, mm -hmm. wanting them to feel good about their, themselves as well. Yes. You know, um, and also we're going to have some of the dolly work as well. So that'll <laughs> just be a bit of fun. <laughs> I love it. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun. Now, um, you guys may, well, you wouldn't know, obviously, but Vinnie has gone through a whole body transformation. She's lost like a humongous amount of weight over the last couple of years, and she looks like people don't recognize her from, you know, if they haven't seen you for like three, five years. Yeah, that's right. They, they just don't know who you are, do they? No, because, um, you know, I was 120 kilos, I was massively wow. overweight, yep. I was chronically unwell. Um, and yeah, now I am what you see before you and... Like a vibrant, passionate person. <laughs> She's always buzzing and jumping with so much energy and it's like very addictive. Like it's exciting to be around. <laughs> That's amazing what happiness can do. Like the effect it has mm. not just on your mind, but your emotions and your physical mm. self. Like the happier I get, the more physically attractive I feel, the more emotionally stable I feel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like you said, some days you call me and I just can't even speak properly. <laughs> She, I thought she was drunk the other day. No, I didn't really think. But I said, you sound like you're drunk. You're that happy drunk. <laughs> she, I just, oh, you know, she couldn't, couldn't get it quite out. No, it, it takes awesome. over and you have to ride yeah. it. Yeah, you do. You can't fight no. it. No. So, yeah, it's yeah. quite interesting some days. Yeah. <laughs> we all have to get to that point to being that excited and, and up on our higher level so we can sort of get ideas going and, and really get our lives to move in the direction that we want. Mm -hmm. So if, if we can all take a leaf out of your book, oh hell yeah, we'll be on the right spot, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all good, it's all good. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh good. So much more coming. My yeah, gosh. well tell us about the future. What's what's coming out? Um after the art show or during the art show, what are you what are your plans? What, what's what's going on with you? Yeah, so Red Lotus I want to build into lots of things. So not just the photography and creative side, mm -hmm. I guess, which is very visual. Okay. Um, but I want to do some speaking and some, some inspirational speaking about my journey. And so yeah. that's a different aspect wow. of Red Lotus. So that will be more, whilst it will be visual, mm -hmm. um, it'll be things like podcasting. It'll be yeah. things like I'm, I'm writing e-books at the moment Excellent. and a whole range of things. So that is very exciting for me because oh. it's at a journey's end. Yes. So I, I've gone through this transformation and I've been through this journey mm -hmm. and suddenly that part of my life is coming to an end, which I never thought it would. Wow. So that's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, and you'll have so much, just knowing from her personally, she'll have so much fodder for a podcast and mm. and for inspirational talks. Like, you know, you can see but just by looking at her or hearing <laughs> her speak at the moment that you've just got so much zest for life and that you would be such an inspirational speaker. So that would be amazing. Well, I want people to be happy. There's not enough happiness in this world. Mm. You know, you just yes. have to walk around the street. You listen, you know, if you're listening to any yeah. current affair or news, mm. I mean, it's just so depressing. So being able to, off. well, that's right. I mean, we often do. The TV yeah. is off, Great. and um, I don't allow, you know, children mm. to to listen to that anymore Good. and ask them to yeah. leave the room because they don't need to. Take it, Take it on board and be unhappy, yeah. That's right, and you know, so they true. ask why, and we have realistic conversations mm. around why, because mm. I don't want you to feel bad when you hear those things, I don't want you to feel fear, I don't, yeah, yeah all of those things. So teaching my little people, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> my own private army, um, to, to be able to filter these mm. things out now, I mean, I wish I'd had those lessons. Same here, <laughs> same here. Because it's been so much harder to do that yeah. as an adult. Yes. Whereas now I can see they've already got the tools, they're massively ahead of where mm. I was at, at their age. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Good on you, that sounds ugh, brilliant. <laughs> I just It's very exciting to watch little people grow. Yeah. And you know, it's hard work sometimes, mm. but it's so rewarding because mm. you know that you're able to make it better for them. Yes. Better than it was for you. Yeah, so there's no, um, you don't have any hesitations when you have your children or you're talking about your children. I love them, but... No, oh. there's no but. I, yeah. I, I love my children, that's it. So, yeah. um, that's it. Yeah, because I don't know if any of you notice out there when a lot of people are speaking about their children, they're, I love my children so much and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed anything for the world, but, you mm. know, it's a little rat bag or but this, but that. So, mm. that's a really refreshing stance to have on your own children. People are shocked by it and mm. it is confronting for some people. Mm. We've had a couple of instances where people have said that to me and yeah. I've said, simply back to them, oh, well, I just love my children. 
and they, they don't quite know how to handle I've that. I've been there once or twice when she said that and people are, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's just the way it is. It's yeah. a healthy mindset to it be is. in. And, and I have a teenager, so I do understand how hard it is and it's a mm. teenage daughter, so oh. <laughs> it's, it is tricky. Yes. But you have got to do what you think is best. Mm -hmm. And if you're emotionally, mentally, physically healthy, yeah. you will do the best that you can. That is great. Yeah. Let's all take a leaf out of Vinny's book, seriously. She's got some good things going on and definitely some good things coming up for the future. And I'm really excited to have you showing with Stuart. Oh, I'm so excited. And those two have met. They've been <laughs> texting each other and emailing each other and coming up with all sorts of brilliant ideas. And hope we're hoping to get this podcast, the old podcast, mash them together, do a little promo video for the for the um, show so people can see what it's about. Um, what we'll do as well today, If you have you got any pieces ready for... The art exhibition? Um, I do, um, so that I can yeah. show you on my laptop. Awesome. Um, I have um, sent some canvas work off, but they're running late. Their okay. printers actually broke down, so oh, they're running no. behind. I went last night to check, and it, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, oh, they're, no. they're still running behind. Oh, goodness. Well, if I, if I can manage, if we can manage, yeah. we might get a couple of shots together yeah. on, on maybe past or upcoming stuff that you're going to be exhibiting. So a little preview. To yeah, yeah, no, that'd be great. Cool. I think um, Stuart's work and, and mine will be very complimentary with this exhibition. Ah, oh, that's so exciting. And I get to work in the shop and the girls, <laughs> we will get to be surrounded by it while it's up for, it'll be up for probably about six months or so right. until January. So yeah. you can come into Adora Live um, at 162 Glenburn Road in Tranmere. Um, and you can come and visit or we'll have the links um, on the website or alive.com as well so you can check that out too. Yeah, have we have we gone through everything on our list today, Vinny? Do you reckon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. I know, I'm always a bit scared. <laughs> I often have a little look at my little list. Oh, I think I think we're pretty good, but if people yeah. want to contact you, how can they get in contact if you like do you do commissions? Or? Uh, absolutely. So um, one of my roles is to be a facilitator, so to mm. facilitate that reality or fantasy that people may want okay. to capture. You mm. know, they might have a blank wall or, okay. you know, they might have a centrepiece wall where they want something a little bit different. Yes. And it could be of them or it could be of something mm. totally mm. abstract. So they need to contact me via my website, um, which is redlotusgalleries.com.au. Beautiful. Yep. And um, talk about it and see where we go from there. Oh, brilliant. And look, I'd take up um, Vinny's offer definitely because the works that I've seen um, from when, you know, a year ago to up to now, she has improved that much. And your work is now really inspirational and you can feel the life to it. And if you're going to have that on your wall, I've got a couple of little pieces that are going to be coming <laughs> home with me as well. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited to bring my work oh, home yeah, as well from yeah. the previous exhibition, I have to say. Yeah, but some of it's coming to my home, so I'm pretty excited <laughs> about that. But just, I can see from there to where you are now, leaps and bounds and whole new life, whole new New works it's a really exciting time in your life absolutely <laughs> yeah the momentum is not um, decreasing no, in any way yeah. <laughs> you've been listening to adora live unlaced for more information about the episodes guests sex toy videos and naughty things you won't find anywhere else visit adoralive.com today <laughs>